Hi, I'm going to show you how to get to the ebooks that I talked about on Friday um, on a Mac. You're going to start by going to ClassLink, click your sign in with Google. My ClassLink, because I'm a teacher, looks a little different than yours, but you're still looking for the same thing. You're looking for the Destiny Discover icon. It looks like this. Uh, it's got the number six on it. If you hover, you'll see that it has that lock. If you click on it, you're going to look for the Heritage Lakes link, which is the one that says Destiny Discover, HL, HL for Heritage Lakes. I've moved all the ebooks up to the top of the, of the page. These interactive ebooks with the sideways eight. If you click see all, there's a number of ebooks you can go in and read there, and as many people can be reading those at the same time as want to. The ebooks uh, that I've just bought are underneath in this ebooks section, and when you look, you might think, well, these are all little kid books, but they aren't all little kid books. And maybe sometimes a little kid book might be fun to read. But if you want to see all of them, you can just click that See All link and you can scroll down. And you can see here's Harry Potter, here's Power Forward. This is a, a really good um, story about a boy who, whose parents want him to be in, in orchestra, but he just wants to be in the basketball team. It's a really good story. A um, whole new ball game, brand new. Um, there's all kinds of, there's some nonfiction, there's some fiction, there's some new graphic novels, there's some big Nate in here, so you just got to scroll down. I, um, here's the second Harry Potter, and um, I'm going to look at here Strongheart, a true story about a dog. You can see the ones that are like more older, if you look at that interest level. Ominous Voice is a really good story about a girl who loves to sing but is shy. Um, I'm going to look at this light bo lifeboat 12. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like it might be a, a, like a Titanic story or something. So I'm going to click on it when I want to hear more. I can read the description of the book. Um, who survive in a lifeboat when the ship taking them to safety in Canada is torpedoed. I think this is a war story. Um, I'm interested. I want to look at it further. So I'm going to click log in. If you're not logged in, you're going to have to log in. Remember, for you guys, your login is your six-digit number, and your password is your last name. Um, this is one place where that stayed as your password. And here's the book, and now you can see that I have open, checkout, and favorite. If I'm not sure if I want to check it out yet, because this is a green... Um, this has got a green stripe on it. That means that I only have one copy available to be checked out at a time. So if you're not sure you want it, you can go in and you can look at it. You can open it. You can check it out. You could favorite it. So I'm going to open it to look at it. And the reason you might want to check it out versus just open it is um, if you close it again and you go back to get it, somebody else might have checked it out. But also when you check it out, you can put bookmarks in it and stuff. So you would start reading just by scrolling through. And um, here you go. Oh, it's a book in verse. I like books in verse. Okay, so let's say I decide I'm going to check it out. I can go ahead and just click the checkout button. And you can see that that changes it to a return button and the in chip up in the corner turns to out. If I want to see it again to get back to it, once I've checked it out, all I have to do is log back into this and I can go and look at my checkouts. And uh, there's my book that I can open again. And it's going to open to the page that I was on but you can also put a bookmark. So that's how you check out books. Um, and you to return it, you just click return. If you want to look at them again, just click Destiny Discover up in the corner, and there you go, there's your list, and you can click See All. So I hope you're inspired to look at some of these books. 
A lot of them are um, just one person at a time, but I did try to buy some of the ones that are available for more than one person. And you'll see like Going Going Dragon is a graphic novel. Um, 741.5, I haven't changed these yet. That's a graphic novel. Um, the Bramble is a graphic novel. Um, and you can see more than one person at a time can be reading it. So go in and check these out. They're really fun. So I'll see you later, guys.